So some of you have asked us uh, recently and in the past, what is our regimen as far as nutrition, exercise, and way of life? Well, we're nobody's role model, to say the least. I mean, those of you that have been following us have known that we have been all over the place. And many of you have probably lost respect for us. And that's okay. You know, we've never claimed to be anything other than who we are. And the fact that um, we do change our minds often, which I believe is a very healthy thing to do. Not to get married to a particular mindset or any particular way of living. Because... How are you supposed to learn and grow if you don't change your mind often? You know, uh, my parents were very set in their ways and had fear of change a lot of times and held on to jobs they hated and were miserable. I saw that and I sure as heck didn't want to be that way. You know, it's important to try to find some sort of joy in life and um, some form of peace. And whatever you have to do to get there, you have to do. So let's, let's talk a little bit. And we're going to get into more details in our Patreon um, account. So the videos will be um, based on... Um, what is it? You've got the public, and then you've got the private, and then you've got the unlisted. So, um, we're going to give you just a little bit of a teaser on this particular video, but we we will do a video um, deeper in information for our Patreons. So, just to get you motivated to head on over to Patreon and support the channel for $5 a month, we will be providing a lot more in detail information in our Patreon um, page or whatever you call it and uh, just kind of give you a little bit of a teaser here. So, um, my honey's busy writing uh, a comment. Mm -hmm. um, something somebody had written something regarding that we had blasphemy the uh, Holy Spirit and uh, she's gone into great detail um, to write the individual, I guess she continues to write them um, regarding what she feels and believes. We got this little cute thing that whenever we have to go pee, we say, um, We have our own little language that we speak, <laughs> and all sorts of cutesy stuff that, you know, but we do. We do, we do, we do. But anyway, the um, the key to balance in your body is just that. You have to learn to eat what many would call a balanced diet. Now, balance is a very... Ah, what's the word I want to use? It's, it's, it's not like your typical what they recommend eat a balanced diet no um what i'm trying to get at is that you require you know good wholesome whole foods for your body to be able to function correctly now i haven't been doing that in the past gosh i don't know since we broke up last and i've tried to eat healthy um, but, you know, when you're not in a happy place, and I wasn't in a happy place back then, lock this thing here so it doesn't keep changing, um, I, I would eat a lot of what they call junk health foods, because, you know, there's a lot of that out there, you know, that they promote, and when they promote these, um, so-called healthy options for you um, 
anything that's in a package and it contains canola oil, palm seed oil, olive oil, all these oils that they use and sodium to, you know, keep the, um, to keep the product shelf life lasting longer and to give it some flavor. So they'll add all sorts of stuff to your food item, which is not really food, um, just to get you coming back for more, you know, because people don't like to eat bland things. Um, but, honey bunny, yeah. that water is really loud. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, and wasteful. And wasteful. Um, but you want to make sure that you put foods in your system that your body is going to obtain for its function because unbeknownst to you food is not for entertainment I know we think it is but food is for fuel we eat because we need to eat to allow our bodies to function <clears throat> but mankind has made food into events we eat when we're happy we eat when we're sad we eat when there's a celebration you know, we eat at funerals. I mean, you name it. It's all revolves around food. And that's not what food was made for. You know, we, once upon a time, you know, had to gather our foods, try to find it, to keep ourselves sustained and healthy. And you weren't going to end up using up a ton of calories <clears throat> to get that food if you're going to use up the calories. And, you know, it's like a mathematical problem. <clears throat> you know, you either try to use up less calories or less energy to get what you need to sustain yourself. Yeah. And most people don't realize that. And they eat and eat and eat and they realize that the calories add up. And there's 3,500 calories in a pound. Mm -hmm. So, now, a calorie is not a calorie, it's not a calorie. I mean, you're going to look at a fat calorie or a fat, a gram of fat is equivalent to 14 calories. Protein and carbs have 4 grams, you know, which is 7, which is a lot less. Um, so, you, you know, you do the math and it'll add up. Now, we've gone, we've been all over the place regarding food. Yeah, we've done all kinds of different experiments in our eating habits and stuff. And one of them, you know, was veganism. Mm -hmm. And others have been keto and carnivore and even fruitarian, fruitarian. To, to a degree. Yeah. Um, raw vegan. Raw, yeah, raw. Um, Pescatarian. We've done it all. We've done, we've done, water fast, coconut water fast. We've done fruit fast. I yeah. guess I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. But so I mean, there's there's a season for every type of nutritional uh, plan you will go into, and you also have to look at your body. What does your body take on well? Some people don't do well on heavy meats, you know, and some people don't do well on a pure vegan uh, diet. So you, you've got to listen to your body. I'm, I'm not the type of plant-based eater that will force everybody to eat the way that I eat because I don't think that's healthy, A. I mean, everybody's got to find their, their sweet spot because you do have a sweet spot, you know, and we will get into all that a little deeper, you know, in our Patreon. I mean, we, we're going to like break down, maybe have a series or something where people can actually, um, you know, get something from what we're saying and maybe even throw in a little cooking video or something in our Patreon. Yeah, I think that people are hungry for figuring this thing out mm -hmm. because it's so confusing. You go to the store mm -hmm. and at one point you're seeing like something's 100 calories, right? Mm -hmm. But it has 1,500 grams 
of uh, milligrams of sodium in it mm -hmm. you know it's like people get specifically like what I've been noticing is and this is something that I did when I wasn't with you I thought those little cup of noodles or any of those types of quick prep you know micro meal that is easy and, mm -hmm. and you know calorie wise it wasn't like crazy but you don't realize just how much poison is in the sauce you exactly. know because the sauce like I think it had like 1500 milligrams of sodium in it yeah, loaded and that's just not good for you not good for at you. all it's like you're destroying your nervous system you're destroying all sorts of different systems in your body when you put that amount of sodium and if you suffer from high blood pressure and you eat that amount of sodium you're waiting for a stroke to happen and see that's the problem is that you know people go to the store they think you know like we like this one store it's called grocery outlet mm -hmm. I went hog wild crazy at that store right. finding all the different types of healthy healthy <laughs> quote unquote nut bars granolas and all those different types of you mm -hmm. know meals in a package and stuff that you're able to just pop in and oh again very little calories low fat you know but oils yeah. Right, and we'll go into that oil in that. oil thing because a lot of people say, well, you need oils. Um, I beg to differ. I mean, there's a lot of different types of information out there regarding this, depending who's selling what diet to you. But oils are junk food. And that's as much as I'm going to say. We're going to go deeper into that. You know, um, your body will take what it needs from the food that you're eating, whole foods. So it, it likes to... It likes to actually do its own thing. So you don't have to sit there and, and micromanage what you put in there. But you need to have whole foods. And your body will gather what it needs. The healthy fats from nuts, avocados, seeds. The oil is considered a junk food because it's processed. I think one of the things though that I've learned throughout the years with you is that our body is an ancient machine, mm -hmm. right? Our physical body has years, centuries, millennia, you know, because this body has basically resurfaced mm -hmm. in different forms because this physical body goes to the ground after, you know, our life is over here mm -hmm. on this planet. And it reconstitutes itself and it becomes again something, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, the concept that the body understands what food is mm -hmm. is something that a lot of people don't get is because eating a Reese's peanut butter cup candy bar the body doesn't recognize that as food it's coded as something else mm -hmm. right it doesn't really understand that you're trying to use that as sustenance right mm -hmm. so you're the only thing that your body really understands is food is real food is like real yeah, whole whole food grains yeah. and fruits and vegetables something and that's natural organically things that grow yeah. naturally yeah. not things that get compressed not, and put mm. together and and cooked and made and molecularly into, challenged and changed right. and that's what oil is you know they, right. they compress and take in certain things and add certain things that prolong the shelf life and and all these things that that is why we get all sorts of disorders and diseases because we're putting things in our body that our bodies don't recognize and initially salt was never considered as an additive for food it was actually a preserving you know, since they didn't have freezers, mm -hmm. right, that it preserved the meat mm -hmm. from spoiling and mm -hmm. different things. So we, in this modern society, have constituted it as something that we should put on our food. Mm -hmm. But it was really just used to preserve things, mm -hmm. right? right? Put things in the ground, you put salt in it or something, I don't know, and you preserved it. And we're a different type of human today than we were yesteryears we were more active we did a lot of different things we had a better balance chemically inside of us than we do today and then add big pharma and all the stuff that people are taking to these things that we are eating that are man-made it's a disaster no wonder we're so sick no wonder our immune system is shot 
And then let's not get into the fact that we inoculate ourselves and not allow our bodies to do its job. We're making our bodies lazy and our bodies don't know how to fight diseases anymore. It's basically like putting, like, um, uh, what is it? What, what, what's that liquid that's used now to clean our hands? Oh, all, um, the, all this stuff that's um, used. Hand sanitizers. Yeah. So it's like we're hand sanitizing our bodies. Yeah, basically, much. so that we're pr trying to say that we're protecting it from stuff, but in effect, we're actually Hurting making it unable to, to function. cope yeah. with the realities of bugs and yeah. viruses and things in our planet. Right, and just like every thing in our world, you know, that has been dumbed down and has no function anymore and our bodies just don't know how to, we don't have any coping mechanism, we don't have a way of fighting our own, the, the bacteria and things that are around us, you know, it, it's totally just messed us up as a species so you have to learn how to rebuild your body we teach your body to do the things that it the body knows how to do it's got to remember because we have forgotten you know we don't even if they dropped you off in the middle of the amazon you'd starve to death because you didn't know how to do anything for yourself you know and we need to learn even our spirituality that has been taken away the ability of the knowing with religion mm -hmm. you know and all these set uh, you know, um, systems, belief systems that take away your power. Right. Laws, rules, and regulations that tell you that you can't do something, that the only way that you can is by the power of someone else working through you. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I would think of that as a form of possession. Mm -hmm. You know, that would be something that, you know, so the same thing happens when you eat junk, right? your body is also shared with you share your body or your body is shared with a bunch of organisms that yeah. live inside your gut flora right yeah. so all those organisms inside of you are working to keep you alive right and not just in your gut also in your skin if you would put a microscope you would see so many little critters crawling on top of you coexisting with you when you're using these antibacterial soaps and you're using these lotions and you're using all this stuff, you know, the, the craze of all these things that we put in our body, we are killing these little guys that are there to keep us safe. Your skin is your biggest organ. But it's like you feed, like we were talking um, several year ago or so, talking about feeding the gut flora. Mm -hmm. And so people wonder why they have a craving for like chocolate or mm. they have a craving for salty things or whatever it's not just you it's your gut flora it's your bacteria in there yeah. that's basically possessing you right Literally. it's driving you to think that you want this mm -hmm. right the parasites that are taking over your body eventually they end up going into your brain and they they have a mind of their own literally and they're thinking for you and that goes with all these emotions and all these things that we go through the inability to like really reason is taken away from us and then isn't that very similar to what christians believe that they should put on the mind of christ that they should not think for themselves exactly. that they should allow themselves to be taken over by some spirit mm -hmm. you know that would control their life exactly and then i even yeah. seen that and they, the and they think are... we're the ones who are possessed <laughs> yeah we're yeah, the ones that have a are, reprobate mind. Yeah, we're yeah. the ones that are looking at things from a perspective where you go, wait a minute, that just doesn't add up. Yeah. What does that mean if this is what they're saying that I should do? So then I should just let go and let God, yeah. you know, let go, let God. That's yeah, what they say. Exactly. And it's like, yeah. why? And how much do you really know about this God? You know, for yeah. you to fully trust, knowing that there are many different deities, you know, knowing that whoever controls the, the future has altered the past so that you follow them and worship them blindly. Because what, what is it that tells blind faith? Yeah. You know, what, 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 what if this deity is an extraterrestrial 
being that has masqueraded themselves as some kind of savior type, you know, mm -hmm. that is coming again. When yeah. the reality, what's coming again is something totally yeah. not what you expect, exactly. right? Exactly. You know. So yeah, you know, we just want to give you food for thoughts, you know, and um, just want you to guys to to really think things through. Don't be throwing rocks at us, making us seem like we're this horrible type of people. On the contrary, we're trying to enlighten, you know, and and empower, you know. And we, yeah, we've been all over the map, you know. But that's how you learn and you grow. And as we learn and grow, we share with you, you know. And that's how that's how we roll. See, it's like, why if you are looking to find truth, why wouldn't you turn over every stone? Mm -hmm. Some Christians would call that being a double-minded person, unstable in all your ways. But what's the stability in thinking that you know the truth, mm -hmm. and then at the end of the day, you really are just following something blindly without any way or reason or purpose you know and instead of like going down this street and looking or going down that street and looking that's that's something that's condemned that's like oh that's wrong you shouldn't go looking you shouldn't try to figure things out for yourself because you're a what did they say you're just a dumb lamb you can't even feed yourself oh if you go to the river you might drink too much water and you might drown in your own you know it's like everyone's painted as being so dumb i know we're all i mean we're so much more than dumb sheep i know you know I'm and it's sad that a whole belief system has been propped up to make people feel like the best way that they could characterize themselves if they were an animal was to be labeled as a sheep I know. dumb foolish unable to think yeah. You know, and that's how the system has um, programmed people. You know, because I mean, it starts from a very young age. They stick you in a classroom. It's, you know, you're in this little desk, listening to a teacher all day, whack, 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 feeding you. You know, all this information. But you know, it's like, <laughs> what do sheep need a shepherd for? The shepherd needs the sheep yeah, yeah. because the sheep are his livelihood yep. the way he makes money uh -huh. he she he shears them for for you know their their yeah, wool exactly. he kills them for their sacrifice for, yeah. for food yep. so the shepherd needs the sheep but More. the sheep don't need the shepherd yeah. shepherds don't need to corral sheep yeah. sheep should be allowed to lamb free. should be allowed to roam free yeah. see the problem yeah you call yourself a sheep and a lamb yeah. and all that and your intention is never to be led by a shepherd it's to roam free exactly but the shepherd wants to make the, the sheep believe that they need him yeah you know and that's the same concept you know you don't need anything but your own whatever it is that you have inside you develop that and you will grow beyond leaps and bounds you yeah. know and if that's blasphemy, you know, I don't know. I don't know what to say because I think that's being responsible yeah. for your own, like, well-being, yeah, understanding, being being open to exploring possibilities and things and not being stuck and set in your ways to just say, oh, well, the Bible says it. I believe it. That settles it. Um, if you can't add a word you can't take a word away you know all this stuff that people say that are so cliche right. and, and when the like, bible has been added doctored removed, doctored lost in translation right. there's nothing original manipulated well, let me think about it how can you trust if like even now when you write something on a piece of paper and you leave that piece of paper in a drawer for years you're going to come back and that ink is going to be faded the words aren't going to be recognizable. They've had to put stuff together and go, oh, well, maybe this means this. You know, let's let's put that together. Yeah. The, the weather condition, the fires, the things that 
manipulated and destroyed the original writing. And not to mention all the government systems that have been involved that have been involved in creating what you know to be your Bible today. You know, the Roman Empire wasn't exactly the most um, uh, ethical exactly. people. Um, the the King James in in England wasn't exactly a shining you know moral standard. You mm -hmm. know, I mean, all this stuff that wow. takes place mm -hmm. and governments are in place trying to control the population and what better way to control the population than through yeah. some fear-based religious hmm. system isn't that what's happening now fear-based control by whatever it is that they can take and create fear and control you with things that they put in your body that protect you you know everything i mean that's the way it's been you know, since we got out of the caves. Yeah. You know, so. That's the thing. You give yourself away, your power away, you give your your existence away to some other deity, mm -hmm. entity, demon, spirit, whatever you want to call it. You know, mm -hmm. God, whatever you want to call it. The bottom line is that you are giving away your own birthright, right? For what? For a promise of something that you already have. Yeah, we were talking about it yesterday. You know, the um, Muslims believe they're going to get seven virgins in heaven if they do whatever it is. If they're martyrs. It's like, first of all, spirits don't have Physical. sexual <laughs> encounters. Yeah. So, and, and a virgin, really? I mean, virgin to me is not like a the great gig of... of experience I mean absolutely. you're like they have a hymen they don't feel any pleasure because it hurts and then they bleed and then I mean I I'm, I don't know what the whole ordeal is but I mean and I don't know but I don't know why it has to be related to erotic sex exactly you know? exactly and and as a spirit doesn't engage in that kind of activity and then Christians are like oh and I'm gonna have a crown in heaven and it's like all about things and, and jewels and streets of gold and pearly gates and you know Seriously. having crowns on your jewels on your crown and it's like why is it all related to this physical world and what and what man considers to be valued exactly. and valuable because exactly. for a spirit what would they care about gold? What would they care about? What would they do with that? What would they care about streets of gold and pearly yeah, gates? Exactly. That's all man made. Yeah. So, but you do you. You know, all of you have to follow your path. If you want to eat donuts and get overweight, that's on you. You know, we are providing you with information. You take that information or you leave that information. Consult your doctor. Don't believe anything we say. We're just a bunch of rambling fools. You know, but. If you want to take the information in and do a little research and find out what, what we're speaking about, whether it's nutrition, spirituality, whatever it is that we deem appropriate to mention to you, then you can take it or leave it. That's how it goes. It's just there. It's just there. It's there for your entertainment. Tainment. That's right. All right, guys. Well, we're. this is just a prelude to what we're going to be doing on our Patreon um, so enjoy and subscribe, hit that notification button, join our Patreon, and that's that. Oh, we're going to go away for yeah. our Friday. For our um, anniversary. Anniversary. What, what year? Seven, seven, seven years. years. Seven years. We always find a way to get back together we always do. for our anniversary. Yeah. No more breakups. No, no, no. no. We're at a totally different place. I mean, yeah. we've we mentioned it before, but I just, you know, I just see this relationship in a whole new light, you know. I mean, I finally, for one, I feel like your wife, you know. That's good. I finally feel like your wife, you know. I mean, before... That's important. It Did was, you? it was a struggle. We were struggling, mm -hmm. you know. But through the struggle, we were able to... You know, yeah, we're get to where we're on. So.
Although you got a little few more white whiskers. Yes, I do. Than you used to. I do. And I probably put some of those on you. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I feel so bad sometimes because I figured that we could have gone through this in a much faster process, but I don't know. I was talking to you this morning about the shame the guilt of the rejection, the abandonment, feeling like you can't trust anyone. And it's okay to fear that because you can't trust anyone. Exactly. Yeah. The recent choices of friends that I had, you know, confirmed that, you know. I mean... That's why that old saying, they don't do it in the entrance, they will do it in the exit. You know, I mean, it's, it's hard to find true friends. In life, yeah, you know, it is. And people always have an ulterior motive. Like I was reading to you um, the emails or personal message that Alessandro, um, the so-called oh, boyfriend, yeah. I've known the guy since 2012. He reached out to me since 2012. I mean, that's like... That's years, man. I don't understand why you were so mad because it was just like, well, you left me. So, I mean, he was just taking up, you know, uh, whatever. And you don't come do to that. find out that he had been talking about selling off his businesses way back then. 2012. Which was in the process of coming to, coming the United to America. Since 2012. Okay, so... I mean, he had some ulterior motives with you, either trying to see if there could be some citizenship, you know, residency, um, some sort of marriage, some, and it happens all the time. Because obviously, he couldn't get his rear end right. out of Venezuela. Right, but what I said was, initially was, you know, one of the red flags that I have about you is that same thing. Right. And he goes, oh, tranquila, yeah. don't worry. All you have to know is that we from Cuba have special privileges. Yeah. But after we're here in the United States for like a year, yeah. we can get documents done. Yeah. And, and, and so, like, 2012, 2021, um, what, what's going on? And then, and all the same thing. Oh, I'm selling my, since 2012, the same thing he would tell you. It was you. the same thing. It was you very... Know. Yeah, very ironic. and all these projects. He was always asking my opinion about all these projects that he was working on. You know, I think he's just a chronic liar. Like most of the people that you encounter, chronic liars. Right. Yeah. Still, you know, person across the lake who was a close friend to me. I thought oh, at one and, point I thought they were like a really, really like close friend yeah and all these people what do they have in common they've all known me for years on the internet and all of a sudden just want to i don't know what it is about you that they don't like i mean what's not to like i don't know envy 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 lots mm. of envy you know yeah it's sad though it is you know because people could spend their time doing much more constructive and beneficial things, exactly. right? Exactly. Yeah. All right. We've been going on for 33 minutes. Okay. 33. Actually, it was 3333. Three, three, three. Wow. Wow. And I'm looking at crazy stuff. Anyway, so I'm sure we'll do some videos on our little um, anniversary chimney thing that we're doing. Yeah. So when are we leaving? A couple of days? We leave Friday. Couple days, yeah. right? It's Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wednesday. Wednesday. Hump day. Should be fun. Yeah. It'll be cooler. Yes. It's been so hot. Yeah. So hot and no AC. No AC whatsoever. But we have a fan. Yeah, we do. And it stays relatively cool, cool. considering. Yeah. And it's just you know, gets you used to it, I guess. No, I don't want to get used to being all hot and sticky. No. But I'm not, I'm not hot and sticky like I used to be in Arizona. Oh, that, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's different. It gets cooler at night. Yeah. Here. Anyway, guys, I won't bore you anymore, but I hope you've enjoyed um, our little segment here. Hope so. And uh, again, to 
subscribe, notification, become a patron, or just you know hit us up on PayPal and show your appreciation for all the information that we've been providing. Um, this channel has been a channel since 2006. Oh, guys, go over um, Lena's channel. And um, actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm going. To, we're gonna call it something else. Yeah. And then we're, we're gonna rename it. We're gonna rename it. I think real talk with the Cummings. Cummings, yeah. And because um, eventually we'll stop posting here, and we'll start posting over there, and we'll just leave this channel as, you know, memories veil of all the craziness, and you know, I've had the channel since 2006, so there's a lot, a lot. I mean, you could spend a year probably watching videos from this channel. It's, it's been quite the ride, but we're going to um, go over and um, do more videos yeah. over there just because we want to get a new start, a new, yeah. like, just a new focus right. and everything and not have all the other stuff that's tied to, to this channel, channel over there because yeah. that's going to be more, you know, just yeah. a different segment yeah. in life, yeah. different chapter. chapter. So remember to go sign up. I'll, I'll put the link down below. Um, when I, yeah. Right now it's called Lena's Life, but you know it'll change yeah. to Real Talk with the Cummings. Yeah, pretty soon. Pretty soon. So yeah. All right, guys. So we love you. Remember, remember to always love yourselves too. Take care.